Okay, welcome back. So we just found our um, two zeros here. <clears throat> so now our next step is to find our um, local min and local max points. So if we're looking at our graph here, our local min, it's going to be these two points right here. Those are going to be our local min points. And we're going to have a local max point here. So for this polynomial, we're going to have two local mints and one local max. So just like we were finding, just like before, when we were finding our uh, vertex of our parabola, <coughs> when we needed to find our minimum or maximum point, we could use our calculator to do that, and we would use the min or max feature of our calculator. So to find that, we go to second, trace, and let's use the minimum feature, so that's our option number three. <clears throat> and this will help us find this point here, our, our um, min point that is to the left of our graph, or the furthest left min. So it wants us to get left bound, so that's to the left of our minimum point. So there we go, then we hit enter. Then we need to go to the right of our minimum point. So move the cursor, now it's to the right, we can hit enter again. Now let's guess, so we move our cursor more towards the min point. <clears throat> so that gives us the point at our local min of negative 2.24 comma negative 6.53. All right, so that's one of our local min points. So I'm gonna write that below. And then we need to find our other local minimum point. So second trace, again, option number three. So we go over to the right, more towards our minimum point, but we need to stay to the left of it. That's what it wants. So we hit enter. And then we're gonna go to the right side of our minimum point, hit enter again. And then we're gonna go right to the middle to find our minimum point and that gives us the point of 1.59 comma negative 25.82 alright so that is our second local min what's unique about this point though is this min is this lowest point in this whole graph it doesn't go any further down than this point. So this point is actually an absolute min because it's the lowest point in the entire graph. So I didn't ask for absolute min, but if, <clears throat> just so you know, this would be an absolute min of this graph. All right, then to find our local max, we do the same exact thing, but instead of choosing min this time, we're gonna choose max, so that's our fourth option. So we need to go over to <clears throat> go over towards our maximum point, get to the left side of it. Then we can hit enter. Then we need to get to the right side. So we move our cursor to the right a little bit, hit enter again. Then move your cursor, guessing where we think the max point is, and we hit enter. And that gives us at this local max, change colors at this local max, that's our point, negative 0.84 comma negative 0.84. Okay, so make sure you write it below. So as we do um, graphs like these and we find all the different pieces, I want you to label on your graph your local man and your absolute min and your local max with your points so I know that you know what a local min and local max are okay so that's it for this problem here what I want you to do now is pause the video and try to do number two on your own and then compare with what I have on um, after you unpause it so pause uh, take a couple minutes to do that and then check your work Okay, so now comparing what you have <clears throat> with number two here, the biggest thing 
for this one is to make sure that you change to standard view on your calculator because before we had to change our window to accommodate for this lower piece here but for this one if you leave it um, with your y value at negative 30 that'll make your graph look a little bit distorted so make sure you have standard view on your calculator okay so if your graph doesn't look like this make sure you adjust it to make it look like this okay so <clears throat> once you sketch your graph you can figure out your end behavior so as your f of x so we're looking your f of x goes to negative infinity as your x approaches positive infinity so as your x gets really big your y value decreases here and as your x value goes to negative infinity so as it moves to the left your y value increases so that goes to positive infinity then to find your x-intercepts, remember we needed to use our zero function of our calculator and as a reminder to find that you go to second trace and it's this second option here zero. So when we do that we can find each of these points and make sure we label them on our graph. Those are our x-intercepts. And then to find your local min, that's just using the minimum feature on your calculator, this option number three here and that should give you your negative 1.1 or excuse me negative 1.41 comma negative 9.66 and this is just a local min because um, there is a value lower than this on our graph this goes down to negative infinity so this is just a local min and then for our local max we do the same thing but except we're going to use our four fourth option here for our maximum this gives us a local max of 1.41 comma 1.66 okay this is a local max because um, our graph has a higher point um, as x goes to negative infinity because our y values just continue to increase that go on to positive infinity okay and something that I didn't mention before um, is that this graph um, using what we know of our polynomials and our using looking at our degree we know that this polynomial can only have at most two turning points so that means there can only be two of our local min and local max so since our degree is three we do three minus one to find our um, amount of turning points so this could have at most two turning points okay so that's a little note for you and it does if we start on the left hand side and we're going down 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 oh all of a sudden we make a turn at the local min so that's our one turning point then we increase 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 er, uh, then we start to decrease so that's our local max so these are our two spas our two turning points I guess it's a local min and a local max okay so this is it for our video for 6.8. If you have any questions, please, please bring them to class and we can talk about it. Alrighty, have a good night.